Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Kevin Harvick's Good Wrench Cup Debut Paint Scheme. The famous or infamous Rockingham Paint Scheme he ran the first race after Dale Earnhardt passed away. With a very unique white and black paint scheme, this car, they initially didn't even offer this car. This car didn't get offered till like 2003 as a die cast. Like the first year they weren't even worried about making a die cast of it, but eventually they did offer it. You see this has really good box artwork. You got a beautiful picture of the car on track with the shadow of Dale Earnhardt in the back of the box. That looks amazing. Kevin Harvick's signature, you got a picture of Kevin from that debut race wearing the Dale Earnhardt hat. And here you have another picture of the car with a pit stop with another, you know, shadowed image of Dale in the background. There's the bio if you want to read why this car looks the way it does. They said it was just kind of they ran a black car. They didn't want to run the three car. So they didn't want to run a black number three car. So they chose, they reversed the paint. He made a white car and they picked the first number that was available that didn't have a three in it. So you end up with the 29 car, which ended up being his number for a long time. But... So you made total 33,000 of these things back in the day when, you know, diecast had insane production numbers. I, thought, I love when people like a car gets like 900 made nowadays and like, oh, they made so many of them. It's not going to be worth anything. It's like you were people not remember when they used to make like 50,000 of each Dale Earnhardt Jr. car beer. But this car still it's like this car isn't a worthless car. Like this still goes to like usually goes for around like $50 usually. So I don't know. Anyways, back in the box, you have the same picture and bio. Action Collectibles 124 scale stock car. There's your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Yeah, okay, 2004 is when they offered this car. I believe if I remember correctly, this paint scheme was supposed to be eventually like a Dale Earnhardt special paint scheme for like the All Star race or something. Or it was either this one or the regular red and white car I ended up using. But so this is just a beautiful car and such a great story behind it. If you want the whole deep, like, a really detailed version of the entire story for the 2001 Daytona 500 leading up all the way to this car, you should check out Brock Beard's video. Brock Beard made, like, a four- or five-part video series called, like, 500 Days to Daytona that, like, went over the entire, like, season, the couple seasons before the 2001 Daytona 500. Everything about 2001 Speed Weeks and then into Rockingham the next week with all the tragedy. Like, that is just such a detailed video. That is, like, Brock Beard is one of the best NASCAR YouTubers out there. Like, he makes such good quality videos. But some, I used to have this diecast years ago, but something about like watching Brockbeard's video mixed with the fact this is Kevin Harvick's, you know, final season in cup, just made me want to pick this car up again. It's just a really nice looking car. There's something about the like white out, like reverse paint scheme that just looks really good with this simple paint scheme, the white with the black on the bottom with the little highlights of red and such. Is it? I can't remember if it was this one or the other one that was supposed to be a Dale Earnhardt special, like all-star paint scheme some, at some point, but I want to say it was this one, but I don't know. Uh, back in the days when you could, if you can even see that, where if you turn the wheel, it actually turns the steering wheel. <laughs> I don't, that doesn't happen anymore at all, I don't think. Or does it? Maybe I'm wrong with that. I don't know. I, I think it's been a while since I even noticed that, but who knows. Anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have GM Goodwrench Service Plus. Got Chevrolet Monte Carlo, number 29, RCR, and rcrracing.com. Down the side, you have Good Wrench Service Plus. You got Sonic and Global We Care. In front of the rear wheel, you got Snap On, Purdue, and Oreo. There's the little Memorial Dale Earnhardt logo that pretty much everyone ran during the Rockingham race, but they also kept it on this 29 car for its entire existence. That as long as Harvick had this car, there was a little three right there in that spot. That was a really cool thing they did. On the seat post, you got AC Delco and Team Realtree. And on the B post, you have Coca-Cola, Hershey's, Van Camp Beans, and Bass Pro Shop Tracker Boats. Got Kevin Harvick's name on the name rail. Has your regular contingencies and such from that day. On the back, you have GM Good Wrench Service Plus, gmgoodwrench.com, number 29, and America Online. Which, if you don't know that, that was supposed to be a sponsor. He was supposed to run a few races in 2001 in the number 30 America Online RCR car, but obviously that didn't happen. He did at the All-Star Race in 2001, won a half Good Wrench, half America Online car. So they were still able to sponsor Harvick at least once. Got the rookie stripes down there. Got GM Performance Parts on the deck lid. This is long before they did roof sponsors, which I kind of like, honestly. I don't really like roof sponsors, but got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. 
So you have GM Goodwrench Service Plus. There's the much better engine detail from back in the day. Got wires and all that, chrome pieces, red pieces, different colored wires and everything. <laughs> Take a look under the deck lid. You got your typical fuel cell and such back there. No roof flaps back on the ARCs. There's the underside of the car if you want to see that. This is back when it still had the sticker tires on the die cast with the metal body and everything, or metal base. Just a really cool paint team, and like I said, this car definitely has a lot more history behind it than a lot of cars have. Like the buy on the box that they threw this car together in like three or four days because they were not sure if they were going to race a second car or even they are going to race at all. But they knew that Dale Earnhardt would never want them to just quit on them and not keep racing. But if you want this car, like I said, it's not it's not hard to get. It's definitely not cheap, though. Like, this is not going to be one of those, like, old cars that you can get for, like, $5 on the clearance bin. Like I said, this car generally still goes for around, like, $40 to $60 usually. So, I'm sure this car is honestly probably going to get a little more popular this year because Harvick is retiring. So, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that go back and want this car in their collection again. Harvick did run a throwback to this car a couple years ago at Darlington with Mobile One. I'll probably have to get that uh, throwback now, now that I got the original again, but... Remember, for all, all of your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com, and if you use the code BWAC, you can get $5 off shipping on any order over $30. Just go check that out if you want anything. But I think I've changed all there is to say, this has been a review of Kevin Harvick's Good Wrench Service Plus Rockingham debut car from 2001. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.